Each year, more than 300 used computers find their new homes in another continent, Africa, through the University of Iowa WiderNet project. The project works to improve digital communication in developing countries by not only bringing used computers to some of the world's poorest parts, but also information as a package deal. We don't understand here what it's like to live without information because our world is just awash with information. Right? We get drunk on, on information and, and sometimes we don't even pay attention to it. Cliff Meeson founded the WiderNet project nine years ago. He's one of the few who have realized that only one out of seven people worldwide have even heard of the Internet. However, to help people in developing countries get the information luxury we have here, simply sending them some machines is not going to help because there are no Internet infrastructures in those countries and building such a foundation can be extremely expensive. For example, it only costs $1,000 to build a cable that delivers 2,000 megabytes of data in the United States, whereas in Africa, every one megabyte of data would cost $100,000 to build infrastructure. Meeson and his colleague's solution was to develop a hard drive known as the eGranary Digital Library that stores 15 million resources, install it on one computer and connect every computer within the community with cables so that all the computers will have access to the 15 million resources. The network is not strictly the internet, but it functions in the same way, just like the icon system at the University of Iowa. We get cases of internet addiction overnight, <laughs> you know, as people just get. This year, the donated wider net computers will not only arrive in Africa with a network of information as usual, but also the news that people will be able to build their own websites really soon.